Arsenal are interested in signing one of the Brighton striker names, um, Evan Ferguson, as a top priority in this uh, summer windows. And if you recall that uh, uh, Evan Joe Ferguson uh, was an Irish professional footballer and uh, he played for a lot of clubs in, uh, in Irish before eventually uh, found himself at Brighton at a very young age. Uh, currently he's 19 years old and um, he's 6 feet 2 inches and uh, has been one of the prolific striker for um, for Brighton and he has currently scored uh, up to 7 goals for Brighton and he's one of the writing stars that is currently uh, at the hot market at this moment in time and if you recall that Arsenal is currently looking for a striker and they more want to consider uh, Evan Ferguson as one of their top priorities in the summer windows. Uh, according to what we know that uh, Brighton's uh, put the valuation fees of around 100 million on this Irish for any other person players or club that is want to uh, take these players from them and um, well, we all know that uh, this contract uh, is going to end in the next year and uh, that is one of the reports we have to receive but I uh, don't know whether uh, uh, Ferguson would like to renew the contract or, or Brighton want this young bright star to be uh, but now he has not come into the radar of Arsenal and uh, we know currently his current um, fees per week is about 20k per week that is how much Brighton is currently paying him and uh, with a very good attraction from Arsenal with this young star with Brighton and want to come to Arsenal uh, we are not going to see and uh, we know that they call him a very sensational striker and it's more even similar to Okay, very quite a parent of France match up with Ireland. And we know the 18 year olds has won the approval of those leading the way to form in the next era of generational talent. And we know that a very robust central forward net six goals and he also provided about 19 uh, two assists in only 19 appearance, 2010 of which to come in from the start. So and the young stars continued when he left in 2022-2023 Canada opening the September or Tavid during the season against Luton Town and the Alex. So he's one of the players that are first coming into the radar of Arsenal. And uh, we don't know whether this, this player is going to end up in Arsenal. But if one of the players Arsenal want to see if they can uh, um, see and uh, speak to writing about and see whether they can uh, moving from Brighton to Arsenal, but well, it's going to cost a lot. But the question is that we ask now we have to pay 100 million uh, for a youngster that uh, we will see. So let's see because the, um, the window is going to come to an end by the end of this month. So, so Arsenal need to wrap up these deals uh, if they really want to take this strike. So this one will be clear that it's Arsenal. Arsenal. Um, one player that's now becoming one of the concerns uh, for me as an Arsenal fan is uh, Gabriel, our defenders. And if you recall that Gabriel was left um, out in the two uh, seasons uh, games that we had, and uh, it was eventually brought in, but uh, uh, it was left out. Uh, we don't know any reason why, because um, when we played the last games with Crystal Palace, if you recall that, Patel that doesn't normally, Thomas Patel that doesn't normally play uh, the central right defense, was given the central right defense as one of the roles, he always play at the middles 
uh, you know, support the attackers. But uh, Gabriel was left out, and uh, according to what uh, Teto said, that uh, the reason why they left Gabriel has because of those tacticals, and there's just nothing that has to do with Link for his performance. Because a lot of clubs have definitely attracted interest in Gabriel, uh, especially Barcelona also want to sign him. Uh, we also have interest from Saudi Arabia. Uh, they want to be, put a very off offer on Gabriel. Gabriel is currently 25 years old. So, but as we all know to speculation, the reason why it's not been left, we don't know whether it's because he had one or two injuries. And, um, but we know there's one or two link from other clubs. So at this moment in time, I don't know whether as now we want to allow Gabriel, which is one of their main defend that to live in this season. So they have to think twice because they need someone like Gabriel uh, to to uh, to actually perform. And if you recall that uh, uh, Asu also played and they had a controversy at red card, uh, which people a lot of people were saying that should not be made red card. And, um, and we also know that there's a lot of defensive issues uh, when Gabriel didn't play. And when Gabriel is uh, 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 when the defender Gabriel Martinez and, and other put into a solid performance to maintain the clean sheet. If you look at it, he also came in and he was even given the captain uh, number when uh, uh, Martin Ortega was substituting time behalf. So uh, we all know that there has been a solid need for, for, for Gabriel, especially from Saudi Arabia, as I indicated earlier. But um, I don't think us now we want to sell Gabriel at this moment in time. Because the question they ask at Teto is that there's nothing at all. It's all about the game that we're expecting. Um, we are going to defend and attack. That's what I believe is the best thing. He's played in both games and they help us to win both games for the defense. Uh, different reason it was really good today. They absolutely really dominated the box when it can come up and he's going to play a lot of games. So the question is that. Um, is, is it because he has one or two injuries that Arsenal did not actually want to allow him uh, to to play full match so that he will not become worse? Because definitely it would be very difficult to replace someone like uh, uh, a player like, like Gabriel. Uh, but the future of Gabriel in Arsenal is still one of the things Arsenal still wants to question. Uh, we know he's a very experienced defender who is also a leader and, in and off the pitch, and he has proof. His vitals has, has been a young uh, player since he joined Arsenal. And uh, it's unlikely that the club is assets like him. Gonna return to Snapchat on Saturday when they take him for now and get a great stadium. Uh, with Arsenal's side hoping to replicate the same result when it's uh, show against the youth. So let's see what will happen. Um, uh, we know, uh, I don't think it's going anywhere. Uh, I don't think Arsenal will have uh, that kind of mind to sell players like that. So who are they going to replace it with? So it's a very good big big question. So but well, let's see. Uh, it's one of the players that uh, we don't know whether he has been high headed in the that club or it's one of the players that's one or two speculations about him. It's not really fair. But we know by the end of the season whether Gabriel is still in Arsenal or not. Another good player that has been heavily linked to Arsenal is Ivan Tony. Uh, Arsenal are now interested in signing Brighton striker uh, Ivan Tony. Um, currently, that's uh, pray for uh, Bradford, and he's one of the uh, English international striker. Continue to be linked uh, with a, a club like Arsenal, Chelsea, and even Tottenham also interested in signing Ivan Tony. Uh, according to what we currently know, uh, we know that Tony is a very prolific player and he has fully established himself as one of the best uh, Premiership League striker uh, forward that we can see for, for some times now. And remember, he has already registered at least 20 goals and four assists in the last time. Um, but we know the current English international is being suspended. Uh, with FA handling the 27 year old on eight months ban from the football back in May due to betting offenses. 
and uh, but he has not stopped him from being linked with a move away from the West London club, and he has been running up every time that has been reported on the political uh, front man. And currently, we know Ivan Tony is currently values at 80 million. Uh, I'm not sure whether Arsenal will be able to pay 80 million for that for the players, but um, but Ivan Tony has been definitely been linked with Arsenal. And has been admitted that he wanted to play for one of the early club. Uh, definitely, we don't know the club that he has in mind, but uh, uh, early club could be uh, Arsenal, Chelsea, or uh, or Tottenham or Sport. So the question is that uh, he hasn't actually featured with uh, Brighton since the beginning of the season, and uh, because of the ban. So when the balance is uh, completed, so hopefully he will come back to uh, playing with uh, Brighton. But he's one of the players that Arsenal has been currently be admired admire for some time. And uh, so we don't know. Will Arsenal will be able to go for these uh, quality players? Uh, we'll see whether he will definitely come to Arsenal or Arsenal will see if they can negotiate the deals and bring the price down, uh, even though uh, this guy is still on on on, the, on, the, on suspensions. So we see he's one of the players that has been evident with Arsenal. Another two good players that has been linked with Arsenal is uh, Jude Qualis and Mark Um According to what we know, that uh, Arsenal has been evident linked with these two players, and. Um, uh, because these two players are the two players Arsenal want to, uh, to replace Gabriel in case Gabriel leave Arsenal. And we can see that uh, Arsenal has been looking at these two quality players to uh, defend uh, in case um, Gabriel leave in this summer. And we know that uh, uh, one of the uh, players play for Crystal Palace. Uh, and in, in English International, which is Magua, who has been totally impressed at the Eagles since joining them from Chelsea in 2021. And we know that he has a price tag of 60 million on him. But according to what we know, that uh, uh, Oxen himself, which is uh, uh, also uh, looking for a possible way of taking. Uh, uh, Tommy Asu from Arsenal, uh, which can be also a potential uh, swap deal. So if Arsenal will to take uh, Mark Gua from them, so Arsenal will be willing to uh, to take uh, Tommy Asu from Arsenal. Uh, it, it depends on if the deal is going to materialize. So, but we know that currently uh, that um, Saudi Arabia are also chasing uh, Gabriel. Uh, many defenders from us, so we don't know how much. Uh, the price tag is one of the things that they haven't actually uh, reviewed, so, uh, but we don't know whether Gabriel is still going to stay in Arsenal for, by the end of this season. But Arsenal are definitely looking at these two political uh, defenders so that they can, they can use him to replace Gabriel. And we also know that uh, uh, Guadi was sold by Chelsea to. Uh, Crystal Palace. Uh, if the call by Arsenal came knocking in, it would more likely that he can head would be swapped if the card were right. And we all know that uh, even Man City are also looking for possible means of uh, signing Guay uh, from uh, Crystal Palace. And there's no, no need for another defenders in case, in case, in case um, Gabriel leave. So, but we are still going to be waiting to see what is going to happen uh, before the end of the season when those closes. But these are two players. Uh, as NASA has been heavily linked with Maguire and as well as Jude Gold. So, we don't know whether these two players will end up coming to Arsenal. Uh, if, if Arsenal is just one of the two alternatives, Arsenal is just going to want to check whether they can. Uh, 
professional footballers. And we quietly know that it may have central back uh, for Barcelona. So the price tag we don't actually know at this moment, but it's just one of the two players as now they definitely want to talk to see if they can um, negotiate for these two players and uh, see if they can bring these two players to Arsenal in case that we are so another good player that has been heavily linked with Arsenal is is super team uh, this Barcelona striker hasn't completely gone away uh, Arsenal has been heavily linked with this uh, Spanish striker is so fatigued uh, according to what we know that uh, Arsenal also want to re uh, re just regain or regenerate the interest they have for this uh, FC Barcelona's uh, striker, uh, which they had it in, in the past. And uh, because Arsenal has initially inquired about these players before, and um, but we know that another reporter just remarked that Arsenal also are interested in signing these political players. Uh, we we know Arsenal have spent heavily in this summer transfer, and we also had issues with uh, Julia Timbers injuries, and. Um, but the report that we suggested that uh, this players will be uh, around 100 million, which is half of what we'll be moving on uh, if a striker for uh, for, for Larry Balogun. So with us now, we're able to spend another 100 million on a sofa team. Uh, we know a sofa team is a very good player, and uh, I'm not sure whether they will use the funds that they receive if they sell for Larry Balogun, and they only have to pay half of this money to bring this super team into the club uh, but we don't know uh, we know earlier this year that uh, uh, Arsenal had one or two interests in this player and this uh, fatigue is one of the players that's been early in Arsenal and we know in the non-cap no uh, Cantalai Giants has spoken to a loan small deal if Arsenal appeared to cover uh, the 200 million a week wages uh, if any potential the fatigue could be a common piece in the region of 50 million. So what they are trying to do is that uh, Arsenal might also think if if they cannot pay 100 million, they can it definitely has to bring in to Arsenal. But what will happen is that Arsenal will really have to pay these 200 million a week, 200 million a week uh, uh, salaries, which currently is, is receiving uh, at Barcelona. It's currently 20 years old. And we know currently he has banged about 29 goals and he has had 111 senior appearance uh, for Barcelona. For Barcelona definitely refer is one of the best talents uh, football at the moment. But we don't know whether Arsenal will be able to uh, swap the deals of loans move initially for possibilities of being uh, permanent uh, players for Arsenal. But to be honest, uh, Tix is a very good player. So if it is not injured, yes, Arsenal will definitely have the maximum base of these uh, quality players. But we don't know. It's one of these players that has been heavily in Arsenal. Another good player that Arsenal, I don't know, when is currently one of the players that I don't think Arsenal should allow this guy uh, to go on the loan. But Arsenal wants to. Uh, is currently allowing uh, our defenders, uh, Karen Chitain, to go on a loan uh, to uh, Lili, Lili Gar's side, and uh, we used to say that. According to what we currently uh, receive, uh, we know that uh, Tiamis has been falling out of favor at Arsenal, so she has been linked with an NC all this summer. Uh, when this transfer deadline is currently approaching, uh, we also know that uh, one or two players also make an inquiry for Terra Tierney. Uh, Arsenal, even New Newcastle, also also make an inquiry about uh, Karen Tierney. But, uh, but currently, what we know that uh, Arsenal has not allowed uh, Real Sociedad to take. Uh, Quarantine on the loan season loans in this summer transfer, according to what we know. And we know that the two clubs are now uh, reached a concrete agreement for Tierney to spend the rest of the season in Spain. 
uh, any reason why, we don't know. And that could be because they're trying to make sure that this maybe had more to experience when it comes to the way it is placed. But uh, nevertheless, we know that Asna will pay, uh, they will pay Asna a loan fees to take him and also cover the full salaries according to the plans that has been agreed. And the plan for the Scottish International is to travel to Spain over this weekend for the medicine for his medical. And, um, and the total reason why is that uh, uh, they can also offer him more guarantees about uh, playing regularly and there will be competing in the championship league next season. So is it a very good move, especially when we know Arsenal is having defensive issues at this moment? Uh, we have uh, Julia Timbers that's currently been injured. Uh, why can Arsenal see if they can use uh, 10 for, for that? But we, we don't know. It's one of the players that has been um, has to leave Arsenal at this moment in time. So hopefully, uh, but according to what we know, there will be medical that will be carried out this week for Karen Tenney. Uh, it's currently living on the parent on the season loans to uh, re-associate that in, in, uh, in one of the uh, legal sites in Spain. So it's one of the needs that we don't currently have at the moment. One of the strikers that is definitely going to leave Arsenal is Kolarin Balogun. But according to what we received that uh, today, that Arsenal has agreed 40 million fees for Monaco to sign uh, Kolarin Balogun. But we also know that Chelsea, as well as the uh, other club in the English, has also shows interest in Kolarin Balogun. But Arsenal, uh, we prefer to be a deuce not for uh, London Derby club like Chelsea. Uh, they will prefer to do a deal with any international club. But according to what we know, that uh, Arsenal has recently agreed uh, to to allow Bolan uh, Balogun to go for a fees of 40 million. So we don't know. It's one of the information that we receive. Uh, we know that the, the next side if I win a fees with the Ghana to sign the U.S. International, which we you know is striking last last season, while on loan with rent. Uh, we know Balogun Bal Bal returned to the French present club earlier this summer, hoping to force his way into Mikel Arteta first team. But we know the likely like uh, Gabriel Jesu, Edu, Ketier, uh, Trussos, uh, as well as Kai Havas, and some of these players. Players are find it difficult for Bolari Balogun to completely emerge as one of the best strikers we have. And we know currently Bolari Balogun is currently doing two. But Arsenal wanted to sell him for 15 million. I'm not sure whether Arsenal will allow the price to come down. So, but it's one of the players. I still feel that Arsenal should stick for more money for Balogun. But it could have been that because Balogun and Juno actually gave Arsenal in the last season. But you have to just have to look at his goal record. So what he has done when he was uh, in the in the Rams year last season, running 20 goals. So I think the price price should have been more. So but we don't know whether this is this is realistic. This is this is completely a concrete agreement for 40 million pounds because Arsenal should be even looking for more. Uh, I still feel that the price tag for Balogun should be anything about about 50 or 60 or 70. So for any club to come and uh, bring him out of Arsenal. But it's one of the information that we see. But we don't know whether that is concrete with this, whether it's completely uh, in a concrete agreement that uh, Monaco have agreed 40 million fees uh, with Arsenal to bring um, Fulani Balogun to their club. Hi, everyone. Um, this is the place where we bring to you the players that have been linked to Arsenal and the players that are also living Arsenal in this summer windows uh, transfer. Um, currently, Arsenal has also uh, emerged uh, to see the Kansai Parashan as one of their um, players. Uh, this is uh, Torino's uh, defenders, Pasha. 
may definitely say to move to Premiership. And we know that three clubs are definitely interested in this player signature. Uh, Arsenal is one of the uh, clubs. Uh, we also have Tottenham also show interest as well. Uh, we say price tag as well as Liverpool has also made the bid. Uh, Torino defenders or Schoenge, uh, which can be said to move to Premiership, have means an interest from Arsenal, Tottenham as well as Liverpool. The 23-year-old uh, only joined uh, Italia's uh, outfit last summer from Hayas for roughly about 7.7 .7 million. But he has greatly impressed, which has prompted a link to his top flight. And uh, one of the clubs that is definitely interested is Galateto. Uh, even uh, uh, Liverpool's uh, coach to the club has shown a, a significant interest. He will make a bid for these players. And because we had uh, injuries in Arsenal from uh, Julia Timbers, that has prompted uh, Gunners to look for a new defender. Although the full back or central back will come in. Uh, we don't know. We don't know whether these players will be one of the players that Arsenal will definitely uh, want to provide the price. And currently, what we know about these players is a very good defense. And uh, we we know that the, the, the price tag, uh, when they signed it was 7.7 .7 million. But that doesn't mean that that's the price that Torino want to sell this. Uh, they are prolific defenders. And uh, we also know that. Uh, uh, Liverpool have uh, also made a bid for around 26 million to sign uh, these defenders from Torino's to come to Liverpool. But that bid hasn't actually materialized. But according to what we know from Arsenal plans, that they have closely followed the progress of Arsenal and they also make a move to sign the defenders. But the first attempt we need to do is to make the key decisions. And that's what we're still waiting for. But according to Italian journalist uh, from Fabiolos, uh, Ramano said that it's important for us now to decide if they want a new central back or full back because we know Timbers can both play both decisions. And us now need to decide what is the right side will be. And they cannot be the act if they are convinced they can find the options. They are always their strategies. I don't see them spending crazy money. But we don't know how the price tags of these prolific players. But this is one of the players that Arsenal has now in mind to see if they can uh, place an offer for. So it's one of the players that's definitely linked with Arsenal in this before this in this summer transfer windows. And we know that the summer transfer window will definitely close by the end of this. Uh, month. So hopefully Arsenal can get his players before the window closes. Another good players that has been heavily, heavily linked to Arsenal is Barcelona defenders Eric Garcia. Um, according to what we know from this, uh, from this, from the Spanish uh, media that Arsenal want to sign this extraordinary depend, uh, Barcelona star whose uh, release clause is 343 million. That is a whopping feast for a single player. And we all know that this is a very short move for Arsenal and they are now show a significant interest to see if they can sign Barcelona defenders Eric Garcia in the final week of this summer window transfer uh, gonna have been forced back into the market because of the uh, junior timbers damage uh his aces hell uh, we know that the dutchman will definitely miss part of the lack of the season at this as a result of this and arsenal because of that they have to make a new top and another player that heavily now emerge is Harry garcia from barcelona and uh we all know that uh, uh, that uh, Arsenal boss uh, knows uh, Eric Garcia very well, having worked with him at the Manchester City. So the talented defenders 
We branded, which is branded as an extraordinary by Zabi, spent four years at Argentina and played 35 times under Pep Guardiola in all competitions. I now, now moved to Barcelona in 2021, signing a five years contract that included a release clause of 400 million, according to the Spanish outlet AS reported at the time. But after two years at the Cano, I will in the mini gas uh, season. Gas has now made available for transport, and the report claimed by Asnas are definitely interested in him. But we can also reveal that Ghana also want to sign him on the loan, but Barcelona will be much rather preferred to find And there are other clubs in Spanish that are also interested in Garcia's service as well. But uh, we know Garcia is a very good player, and I tend to know him very well. Uh, we don't even think Asnas needs any other things. He has played with him before. He knows his talent. When he was an assistant coach uh, under Pep Guardiola in Manchester City, and because of the injuries of Julia Timbers, so Garcia is one of the players that can definitely uh, do the same job and abilities um, uh, on what uh, Julia Timber would do. So Garcia National is a talented player and he has a lot of, of, of skills. Uh, and a lot of sense when it comes to players. So it's more prolific. And uh, for that release clause, I think it's open to negotiations. But according to what we know, Arsenal would prefer a, a close uh, rather than a permanent move. But it's one of the players that has been heavily linked to Arsenal.